Hello and welcome to Jack Junior. Today we're going to be talking about bullying and helping you if you're getting bullied. You don't really know why they're doing it. Mainly bullied for my height. I was actually best friends with her. It just kind of like affected me. You don't want to turn into the person they were. I didn't really want to go into school. Being different a bad thing. That's the purpose of life, being different. If you're happy with yourself, like, why change? I'm not going to let anyone stop me. They might be going through something as well. It's really hard to talk to your parents, and this is what Jack's all about, bringing people together. Hello and welcome to Jack Junior. Today we're going to be talking about bullying, which is a really, really important topic. And we've got some super, super incredible guests talking about their own stories and helping you if you're getting bullied, um, giving you advice on what you can do to whoever's bullying you. So yeah, we're really excited. Fred, what do you think? Yeah, I'm really excited for the podcast. I've not been bullied, I'd say, but I have had People take the mick out of me sometimes, so it'd be interesting to see what our guests here today have got to talk about. Have any of you been bullied? Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you know why you were bullied? Was it sort of why? why so why you... when I was like when I was growing up, I like was mainly bullied for my height, but like I realised that other people's opinions just shouldn't affect me mm -hmm. because I should rather just worry about my own self than other people when was that year three to year six and it does still happen in year seven mm. but like i've just kind of gone past it mainly well i don't really actually know why she just like didn't like me for no reason and then she like gang up on me so it's a tad bit weird but um now i'm going in year seven going into year eight like it's completely fine now because like i've got nice mates that aren't like mm horrible for no reason but it was really for no reason I don't really know why yeah so how, how did it make you feel I mean like it just kind of like affected me like I didn't really want to go into school because it was mainly just repetitive like every day mm -hmm. it just made me feel really down about myself and sad mainly but like now mm -hmm. I've found people who are interested in the same things as me and now it's just completely like just better what did you do to find ways to cope my sport like basketball is something I can go to and it's like then I'm just completely in my own world where like I have that time with myself to just focus on and learn something that like I like do. an escape yeah like, exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah how did you how did you cope what well how did you feel obviously like I was upset because, like, you don't really know why they're doing it. They're just trying to, like, be horrible because they feel horrible about themselves. So, like, I would, like, not join in on certain things because she would just, like, make it really hard. So then, obviously, when I got home, I was really upset because I was like, why is this person being, like, really horrible? But then now, like, I'm not being bullied anymore. And, like, now you see, like, to be kind to other people. And, like, if you see someone who's, like, left out, you kind of, like don't want to because you know how you felt yeah. when you were being left out um you said when you when you go home you, you'd be really upset who who did you did you talk to anyone at home or in school or yeah I told my mum um and my dad obviously mm. but then when I was at school like it was kind of hard because she was like there and she'd like say that I was doing it and I was like I'm not doing anything yeah but then it would sound like I was doing it, but I was I really wasn't. Yeah, we 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 always say that at Jack, it's the the person you don't want to talk to are your parents. So it, it's really hard to talk to your parents, and this is what Jack's all about: bringing people together, having um, children's stories, having other people's stories that you can relate to. Who did you tell first? I was just mainly like I was talking to my mum and my dad a lot. And like just saying to them, there's these two people at school, they're bullying me because of my height, I don't know what to do about it. And they would kind of just calm me down and just say like, look, don't worry about what people are saying about you. Because if you worry about that, it wouldn't benefit me if I was worrying about other mm. people's things. So we've talked about being bullied for being different. What do we think about that? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Overall, it's not really a bad thing because everyone's obviously different in their own ways, mm -hmm. but it can really affect on like how you feel as a person. And if 
being different a bad thing and it makes you question it. Right, yeah. I mean, like, I think that's the purpose of life, being different. Like, it's good to find yourself and, like, right, I like this. I'm not going to let anyone stop me from being myself. And, like, that's it, really. Like, you just need to be yourself. I think being different is a good thing because if everyone was the same, then, like, it would life wouldn't be as like interesting because yeah, lots be of very boring, like there's it? lots of different yeah. successful people in this world and they're all different so that's kind of a good thing because like if you're like everyone was the same it'd be like really boring <laughs> and uh, it's it's just all about being unique and don't like don't let anyone yeah, exactly. stop you from being who you are it, this brings on to the next question if you could say anything to anyone who's being bullied because the different what would you say to him what advice would you give them um i'd probably say just don't let it get to you because they're probably jealous um and there's just a lot of things that they can say um which will obviously not be the nicest but you've just got to think they might be going through something as well that's why they're doing it to you mm. again it's really important that you've said it might be something that they're going through that makes them like think they've not got anything better to do they think like the world's against them i know but it's it's when you're in that position you can you can still sort of like comprehend that saying something like that is obviously gonna have a a, an impact a negative impact on on the person that they're doing so i think it's just it's a bit silly and a bit Mm -hmm. like self-centered what 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 would you say to someone i think everyone said that like sort of the same thing just don't let it get to you because the person who's doing it is probably not happy about themselves so then when they see someone trying to be themselves they just like don't like it because they think that if they're not allowed to be happy because they're not happy in themselves that means that everyone else who is happy like shouldn't be happy but that's not the case because like if you're happy with yourself like why change yeah So when you first got bullied, did you speak to anyone about it and like how long did it take for you to build up the confidence to speak to people about what's going on? My primary school was like quite small, so like the word kind of got round like, oh, these people are being rude to Jacob. So then my teacher was like, are you okay? And I kind of bottled it up, like I didn't really want to speak about what was happening. It took like a good three weeks for me to say to my parents like this these people are bullying me like I need some help you know so to anyone out there listening uh that's getting bullied and doesn't want to speak to people what would you tell them to like what mindset should they have to look at it I'd just say tell someone but obviously um uh, from personal experience as well I know how hard that can be Mm -hmm. I had to write it down on a piece of paper just to let my feelings out because keeping it it just kept building up inside of me and it was like it was really draining um for me just to have all of this bottled up inside me not telling anyone so even just writing it down on a piece of paper just letting it all out is good enough so is was was there any like escapes that you like you just go and like take your mind off everything um um yeah I obviously I dance um, and I find just going to studios, learning like learning something, going through something I've already learned, really just puts my mind on something else mm-hmm. because I'm obviously trying to focus on dancing. So I haven't mm-hmm. got whatever um, uh, is troubling me in my mind at that moment, and it's it's nice and it's peaceful. Mm-hmm. So that's what I do. I have a swim team because like. I do swim in like the leisure centre like near my house and like it's nice because like when you're all when you have like a new group of people who aren't horrible, no one's like being mean. It's just nice to think about something else. Yeah, it gives you something to focus on as yeah. well and like take your mind away from it. Yeah. So if you saw your bully now, you might you might be friends with them. If you if you saw them um in a in a park or something, how how would you how would you react? How would you feel? The person who believed me added me on Snapchat the other day. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I looked at the message because you know you can look at it before you block them. Yeah. And it was like, 
hi, by the way, I'm just letting you know that if you told someone that I bullied you, yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, don't even start. So I just <laughs> oh, locked that's her. Mad. But she goes to the swimming place I go to oh. on the same day. Oh. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And so you, just, you don't you don't. Yeah, get I don't along. talk to her because she's just annoying. Yeah. <laughs> I've had quite a few bullies. Um, the ones from primary school, one of them, I am actually fine with now. Mm. But the one that from primary school up to high school, I was actually best friends with her and I didn't realise what she was doing to me. But now when I look back, I can tell like it wasn't a healthy friendship at all. Mm. Um, and I do not speak to her at all. And I do want to not want to put myself through that again. I mean, like, yeah, like the so the two bullies that bullied me in primary school, one's in my form in second high school mm -hmm. and the other one also goes to my school but now he's kind of relying on me to for me to sort out his problems mm -hmm. and I kind of see that as like yeah you can come to me if you want but I I do still remember what you've done to me mm -hmm. and how you affected my childhood I don't think I'm gonna be rude to him and be like I look mate like I don't want to sort your problems mm. because I don't I don't want to start stuff again I've realized with what we're just talking about not holding a grudge is good to do as well yeah because then like you're starting to get mad and then you could start being the problem yeah and then people would see that mm -hmm. and they'll be like actually you're holding the grudge yeah I think that you can like not hold a grudge like there's a way of like not being horrible to them, but then also letting them know that, like, I don't really want to be your mate. Like, yeah, yeah. you don't... Yeah. You have to be, like, horrible to them every day, especially if you're in the same form as them. Like, it's... Like, you don't want to turn into the person they were, that mean person, that horrible person, because, like, you... I think there's nothing wrong with being, like, I don't want to be your friend. Like, just yeah, being straight up yeah. honest about it, but, like, not being, like, I don't want to be your friend because you're this and you're that. Just... If you just let them know, like, brown, like, I don't just don't want to talk to you but um and like it just depends what they do with that because mm. it's really if they're truly like trying to hurt you they'll go like a long way with it but now since obviously all of us are like older and like we know what's not a good friendship and what's a good friendship like it's kind of like you can just brush off what like if they try and like be all rude again you can just sort of you know how to deal with it better mm. That was a great chat, weren't it? To yeah, it was talk about. Yeah, it was it was so good, all of you guys sharing your own stories. Um, really good. Did we all enjoy it? Yeah, yeah it was hundred percent. I loved it. Lovely. And you honestly, you're all so good in expressing expressing yourselves. Um, we've absolutely loved having you on and make sure to tune in for the next episode. Woo!